Well, joining us now is Dan Greenhouse of Solus Alternative Asset Management and CNBC Senior Markets Commentator Mike Santoli back with us. Dan, great to have you here on set. So market today, reaction to better than feared PCE. Yields are down. All the major indices up. Dow was dragged down for a while by Boeing and Goldman. What does this moment mean as far as believing in this market? Yeah, listen, there are a lot of people who are not believers in this market and haven't been for quite some time now. I don't know that new highs are going to do anything except reinforce uh, a lot of the negative stereotypes that this group has for the market. But from my standpoint, I think points that have been made on air today include you have strong performance from the home builders, from a number of tech names outside of the Magnificent Seven, uh, from train technologies in the industrial space, from GE, a number of healthcare companies, not just Lilly, but how about Merck? I think there's a broad swath of stocks and, and industries that are doing quite well that are helping drive these gains across markets, not just the NASDAQ, but more generally. Okay, Mike Santoli, we're about to get some fresh information from, from these earnings from Dell, HPE, NetApp. We're going to see who's getting a lift from AI, maybe like Supermicro, Pure Storage, versus who's not. Same with Elastic and Zscaler on enterprise efficiency. You know, when, when it comes to security, CrowdStrike bad, Okta Nutanix good on that. And then we'll get a, a look at Autodesk as well as uh, applications and construction, that business play out because construction management, you're using a lot of Autodesk. I mean, what has the overall message been in some of these technology names? Semiconductors had another strong day and software's been doing pretty well. Yeah, I mean, the, the buying panic in semiconductors took like three days off and then it resumed today and it didn't seem to necessarily be uh, triggered by a heck of a lot in the way of the earnings reports. But I do think in general, we're in this mode of Investors are craving the next play on the big themes because the, the, the absolute obvious ones have had their run to a, to a fair degree. But I also think it's very notable that when you've been hitting these air pockets in earnings reports, something disappoints and it, it, it goes down a lot. Um, you're not necessarily seeing it spread more broadly. And that just shows you the general more forgiving tone of this market, the fact that people are allowing equity exposures to go up. They're riding the positive trend and allowing uh, essentially rotation to take the place of outright selling. Now, that's been a great story. Uh, a lot of the things that we feared coming into this year, either that the market was too dependent on a few huge stocks or that the Fed was going to have to cut rates soon to, to rescue this market or any of that, it's all gone by the wayside. The question is, what's next? And what, you know, what's going to be the next kind of impetus to get us well through these landmark levels that we're now hitting? Yeah, I do want to mention Autodesk numbers have crossed. We are going through them right now. Dan, while we, while we await going into that, how do you play industrials here? Uh, the S&P sector is up, I think, about 25 percent almost from the October lows, touching a 52-week high today. Yeah. Listen, uh, there are two main themes that get most of the attention in markets right now. It's the GLPs, Eli Lilly, and it's obviously AI writ large. We're going to talk about that, I assume, when Dell reports. But this other narrative in markets that gets considerably less play is just the, the amount of money that's being spent on electrification, grid reinforcement, EV charging, et cetera, et cetera. And there are a number of companies in the industrial space that the stocks of which are, are benefiting enormously, not just from government spending, but the incentives that are being aligned to drive private sector investment in a number of these names on building out data centers, on doing all the other things I just mentioned. You can look at charts of, I mentioned train technologies earlier, look at Eaton, um, look at Vertiv. There's a whole number of, a whole group of companies that are doing phenomenally well that are getting much less attention from markets. And when you look at, if we could throw up a chart of the XLI, um, it looks like a tech stock right now and, and not for nothing. Mm -hmm. there's, there's underlying fundamental drivers uh, pushing those markets higher.